Hi, I'll show you how to get started with Student Risk Assess. This video is for students. We have a different video for staff members. Risk Assess helps you carry out a risk assessment of any experiment. It provides you with background information on the hazards of chemicals, equipment, and biologicals. I'll show you how you can start your risk assessment, protect it with a pin, and come back to finish it later. All right, first you need the username and password for your school from your teacher. You don't need to subscribe yourself. So let's log in now with the username and password I've entered in already. Okay, and we're on the home page. Let's click Start Blank Risk Assessment. We enter in the names of the students in the group. So we've got John North and Tina Jones here. Now we're going to choose a PIN number and you'll need this PIN to access your risk assessment in the future and it will stop other students from accessing your risk assessment. All right, so the experiment we're doing is the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. So we'll paste it in here. And we're going to put in a procedure in full. Now, alternatively, you can enter in a textbook reference or a link to a Google Doc or a website even. Any URL will be automatically turned into a clickable link on your risk assessment. Now, we're going to enter in the teacher and the year group. So our teacher is Adrian Smith and the year group is TAN Chemistry. And if you know the training codes for your teacher and lab tech, you can enter these in. If you're practice only for a few lessons, then enter in the scheduling information. If it's for the entire term or longer, leave this section blank. It's best to confirm what you should enter with your teacher. Since this is just a one period prac, we'll enter it in. So room 103, period two, and the date it's going to be on tomorrow. You can also enter in any additional notes for the lab tech here. And then we come to the items that we're going to ask the lab tech to prepare for the experiment. So we've got eight molar hydrochloric acid, ice cubes, and magnesium ribbon. Now let's search for the items that we're going to be using. So we'll have a look for a test tube. You can uh, enter in just part of the name or the full name. So test tube, here we go. Uh, we want to go for a medium sized one. We're going to put in the chemicals used. So for example, we need some magnesium. You can search on a partial name or the full name. So here's magnesium and we want magnesium ribbon. Now we also want to have some hydrochloric acid. We can search on the formula too. So we use HCl. So hydrochloric acid and we want eight to 10 molar. Now it's also important to enter in the chemicals produced because a flammable gas or toxic, toxic chemical might be created during the experiment. So we're going to search on hydrogen gas search on hydrogen and let's have a look hydrogen gas generated during the experiment so we can go ahead and generate the risk assessment if there were any other items here that were not in the databases in risk assess we could enter them here too but you should pretty much find everything you need all right so let's go ahead and generate the risk assessment now we could go ahead and assess the risk now but let's say that we're out of time and we need to log out and come back again later. So let's click the log out at the top. Right, so say it's the next day and we want to continue our risk assessment. We'll log in again with the username and the password the teacher has given us. So actually we can see our practice here in the recent risk assessments, which is pretty handy, but this won't always be the case if there's lots of practice being done by other students. So we'll do a search to find our prac again. So we can put in any of the student names. So we'll do John North. Okay. And we can see our prac here. So we click on it and we need to enter our pin number to access it. Now have a look. We can see that there's actually some feedback at the top from the teacher. Eight molar HCl is too strong, it react too fast, and it's also relatively hazardous. All right, so please rethink. So we can change our risk assessment and our prac with the author's update. So we click the button at the top. Let's, let's say we try two molar HCl instead, because that's, uh, that's a lot less hazardous and it should make the reaction slower. So we'll change it to two molar, and in the safety information search, 
we'll get rid of the eight molar and we'll put in the two molar. Right, so hydrochloric acid, um, it'd be less than three molar in the ranges. So we go ahead and update the risk assessment. We can also use author's update to make other modifications such as finishing the procedure or changing the items to be prepared. So let's add a note back to the teacher. Yes, we changed it to two molar HCl. Now let's have a look at the background safety information that's been provided from the risk assessed databases. So on the test tubes, yes, keep an eye out for any uh, damaged test tubes. We need to have a look at the hydrochloric acid. It irritates the eyes, the lungs, and the skin. Magnesium ribbon, flammable, and hydrogen gas generated during experiment. We've got a warning not to generate in a closed container because uh, many injuries have resulted from explosions here. All right, so we go ahead and have a look at the knowledge section. So we're saying that we've understood the information above and we've got safety data sheets available and we're going to conduct this experiment following the school rules and teacher instructions. Right, so let's go ahead and do the actual risk assessment. So let's have a look at the risk to consider for the most relevant ones. So fire, definitely. We've got the hydrogen gas that could catch fire. The explosion, probably not an issue because our test tube's going to be open. Now we've got the irritant, chemicals in the eyes, chemicals on the skin, we'll have to keep those in mind in our control measures. So for any activity where the risk level is not low, control measures must be put in place to lower the risk level to low risk. The idea is to introduce enough control measures so that the risk level for the experiment with the control measures in place is reduced to low risk. So let's say that before control measures, the risk level is medium. Now let's pop in some control measures. So we'll say we don't want to have anything happening near open flames with the hydrogen gas generated. We'll use a funnel to get the HCl in so that we don't spill it anywhere. And we're going to protect ourselves with some um, gloves and a lab coat and safety glasses. So go ahead, save the control measures. Now it's up to your teacher and lab tech to either sign off or provide further feedback on your experiment. Since you've sent the inherent level of risk, your teacher knows your risk assessment is ready for review. Don't set the risk level until your risk assessment is ready for review, unless your teacher tells you otherwise. You can also email the risk, risk assessment to yourself with the box at the bottom or to someone else. Again, check with your teacher what, uh, what you should do here. You can log in again later to check the status of your risk assessment and to see if your teacher or lab tech has left any feedback or has signed off on it. I'll show you one other area that might come in handy. So let's click the banner at the top. This will take us back to the home page. This, this works anywhere inside of risk assess. And now uh, we'll do a safety information search on hydrochloric acid. We'll just use the formula. All right, and we can see the eight to 10 molar and we can have a look at the less than three molar and compare. And you can see there's quite a big difference in the, in the standard handling, the hazards and the pictograms. Even look at the 10 to 12 molar as well. So you can see all the different concentration ranges and you can search for different chemicals very easily here with the search box. All right, so I hope you found this useful and are now ready to get started with student risk assessment.